What's up? Crab fam, welcome back to another Gringo's Got Crabs video for you guys. That was a little weird, wasn't it? A little high pitched maybe? Anyways, in this episode I will be talking and showing, it's going to be an unboxing video, but I will be showing this young lass and these crabs here. There are five of these and one of the young glasses. It is silent and just voiced over. I might include some like key kind of sound from the original clip, but for the most part it's going to be muted and voiced over, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you're like me, you will enjoy this. So stay tuned and watch to the end. Thank you and have a great week. God bless. So as you can tell, I have removed the label from the bots to protect mine and the seller's privacy. And in the segments that I don't really have anything to say because either what I'm showing describes it all or there's just nothing to talk about between certain points in the clip, I will go ahead and discuss my experience with this seller. At first, I ordered four female purple matano crabs for my breeding project, which a lot of you may know about if you've been subscribed for a while. And if you follow my threads on PR Aquatics forums, link in the description. But my last attempt failed, kind of miserably. And I decided to go ahead and order four more females. Those four originally arrived DOA, and I found out it was his first time shipping them. So, you have to give some sort of... In the video right now, just quick. These are actually the Burmese crabs. The five of them are as replacement for the females which were originally DOA and this is the female PMC which is alive. So going back to what I was saying, it was something that when you first start shipping stuff is going to arrive dead. It, it, you know, Especially if you haven't shipped it before you don't know what to expect, you don't know maybe how to ship it and whatnot. So I kind of understood that from this, you know, being a seller myself, I just shipped a package, a test package where I just had the person pay shipping and it arrived all alive and everything, thankfully. But I wasn't comfortable with shipping it the first time of shipping something with actually having them pay for the item I'm shipping to them. So I just had them pay shipping and it all arrived alive. Now, in the video, I am currently just examining the crabs once again in the natural sunlight coming through my crab room window. Crab room window. Speech impediment kicking in hardcore, people. Watch out. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a wild ride. In all seriousness, when you get a shipment, you don't want to add any of the water from the shipper's tank to your tank. Just because you don't know what's in it and whatnot, so that's why I removed the moss and the crabs from the bag like I did, and now it's in the tank. You can see two crabs at the front, and there are three on the moss still. You may have caught on the small glimpse of it a second ago, or a few seconds ago. There's two in the frame right now. But there is five on, I did receive five of them, and right now I'm just putting some additional moss in the tank because the little bit they ship with it's only meant for shipping, so you always want to supply proper habitat for the crabs or for any animal you're purchasing online once you get them in your tank. So that's what's going in the tank right now in the video. And I do apologize for the twig. It is what it is. <laughs> and right now I am actually putting the crabs on top. Or the moss with the crabs on top of the other moss. 
And I didn't really have a rhyme or reason for that, but a good thing is with that is it will encourage the crabs to climb down like you see that one doing. Because up above is all the light and everything. Obviously there's ambient light coming in anyhow, but it'll just encourage the crabs to go into the new moss. And right now I'm unboxing the female Popamitano crab. Getting her out of full packaging. Honestly, I love cellos that have ingenuity to use stuff lying around the house like this person did with the tableware. I don't know why I'm just I'm a MacGyver type, so it's always I can always appreciate that. And this is actually how I typically handle my crabs. I don't grab them by the shell or anything. I cut them in my hand and pick them up and kind of have them on the surface of my hand instead of grabbing the size of their carapace or shell on the top where the legs and claws connect to. And you will notice that this crab actually does not kind of rest in my palm like some other crabs. And even doing that, you will get pinched. If you don't want to get pinched, go and grab it on the sides of the carapace or the shell. Because how I do it, it does allow it to pinch me. But right now, I'm just deciding, you know what? Just pick the crab up in the container and introduce them to the tank. And again, I'm not dipping the container in the tank because I don't know what it has on it. The paper towels did come moistened to keep the female wet so that she didn't dry up or desiccate which I do appreciate and as such obviously bacteria in the water and everything so just a it's an ecosystem so I didn't want to dip the container into the water and possibly introduce that into the tank and this is actually the end of the video so stay tuned for the next for a preview of the next episode of Gringo's Got Crabs. Find out how I set up my most cultural bin 1.0 and 2.0 and find out my future plans for your most cultural bins.